Dogs are an incredibly popular breed globally. Today we're going to be closely looking at the temperament of this unique and characterful little dog. Welcome back to the Fenrir Pug Show. If this is your first time here, my name is Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high-level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload of the Fenrir Pug Show. So, let's dive into today's video. The Pug is a small and sturdy dog with a barrel-like appearance. They have relatively short legs and are known for their wide chest and flattened face. They are also known for their deep wrinkles on their face and forehead. They have a tail which has a natural curl which may be one loop or two. And the pug has four basic colours, fawn, silver, apricot and black. Not all colours are recognised by different kennel clubs. Where the UK Kennel Club recognises all four, the American Kennel Club only recognises fawn and black. Both male and female weigh between 14 and 18 pounds and on average they are 10 to 14 inches tall at the shoulders. But enough about aesthetics, now let's move on to their temperament. If you are looking for a dog to hunt, guard or retrieve, then the pug is not for you. Pugs are bred to be companion dogs and this is the role that they are long to fulfil. The pug craves affection and is most happy when curled up on your lap. But the pug is not just a lap dog. They are a playful and comical dog that enjoys living it up and delighting their owner with their silly antics. They want to be the centre of attention and are always up for a good game. The pug is often known as the clown of the dog world. Their temperament is affected by a number of factors, including training and socialisation. Pugs with nice temperaments are curious and playful, willing to approach people and be held by them. Like every dog, the pug needs plenty of early socialisation, and this means exposure to many different people, sights, sounds and experiences from the earliest moment possible. Socialisation helps ensure that your pug puppy grows up to be a well-rounded and confident adult dog. Personality-wise, pugs are happy and affectionate, loyal and charming, and definitely mischievous. Hey guys, sorry to quickly interrupt the video. I just wanted to let you know, if you didn't know already, that my first book has come out, is now officially published and ready for you to check out if you are interested. It's called Raising and Training Perfect Puppies, The Missing Secret to Success. I think you'll find it really valuable, and if you'd like to check it out, there will be a link in the description box below. They are a very intelligent breed, but can also be stubborn, which makes training difficult, but not impossible. The stubbornness makes them notoriously difficult to house train and crate training is often advised to help with this. While pugs can be good watchdogs, they aren't known for excessive barking or yapping. If trained and well socialised, they get along with other animals and are relatively laid back. They're quite a small, quiet breed and are relatively inactive when indoors. This means that they can be a suitable breed for small houses or apartments. Pugs are known for their love of children and also make great playmates for kids. Due to their robust nature, they can handle playtime even when it gets a little rough, but it's essential to do proper training and early socialisation in order for them to know how they should behave. And also it's crucial to teach your kids how best to behave around any dogs. It's important to always supervise playtime between your children and your dog to make sure that both parties know how they should behave with each other. The pug is a small breed with a larger than life personality. They're fun, playful and affectionate, and could be the perfect breed for anyone looking for a cheeky little companion. Finding the best breed for you, your family and your lifestyle is really important, and I definitely suggest doing plenty of research before bringing a canine companion into your home. Knowing more about your chosen breed will definitely help you in caring for them, and giving them a happy and healthy life. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section down below, and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have two dedicated pug videos coming here every week. I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Pug Show.